Welcome to math. We're going to start by warming up our brains, reading some number stories with unknowns. So you can use your slate, which is your whiteboard, your marker and your eraser, or whatever you have that you want to write and draw on. So we need to think of, think of ways that we solve number stories. So remember our chart in school, right? You can use counters, you can draw pictures, you can use a number line, you can count on, you can use the change to more diagram or the change to less diagram. So you can use any of these right now while we do the unknown, or you can just use your whiteboard, whatever you wanna do. Um, we're also going to learn a new um, chart that we can use today in today's lesson. But for right now, think of the think of the charts that you know or the strategies that you know that you could use. So our first uh, word problem is Jack won four chess games, then he won one more game. How many games did Jack win in all? So I showed you last time how to do the change to more, change to less diagram. So because this says more in it, it's going to be a more. It's going to be plus, right? So let me read that again. Jack won four chess games. Then he won one more game. And it wants to know how many games did Jack win in all. So this would be our unknown. So what is four plus one? You got it. Nice job. All right. Erase. Like I said, you don't have to use this. You can use your whiteboard if you want. This just seems easier for me. All right. Leah sang three songs. Jenna sang some more songs. Altogether, they sang seven songs. How many songs did Jenna sing? Okay, so let me read that again. And again, I heard the word more, so that means I'm going to add. Okay, I'm going to add. Here we go. Leah sang three songs, so my first number is three. Then it said Jenna sang some songs, so we don't know how many. All together, they sang seven songs, so the ending is seven. So our job is to figure out what this number is. So three plus what equals seven? Or seven take away three equals what? You can do it either way. Give you a few minutes to figure it out. So if I say three, four, five, six, Seven, right? Now I have to count how many are here because that's what goes there. One, two, three, four. Why did I say three? Because there was already three, right? Already three song, songs sung. So I started with three, then I counted up to seven because that's how many we have total. So three, four, five, six, seven, which gives us the number four. Perfect. Erase your slates or erase your boards. All right, Tina poured eight glasses of lemonade. Some glasses tipped over. Six glasses were left standing. How many glasses tipped over? Now, I did not hear the word more, so I know that I'm going to subtract this time. Let me read that again. Tina poured eight glasses. So how many glasses did she start with? Some glasses tipped over, so that's our change. We don't know how many glasses tipped over, we just know some glasses tipped over. Who wants to know how many glasses tipped over? Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Six glasses were left standing. Six glasses were left standing. Who wants to know how many tipped over? So eight take away what equals six? Or six plus what equals eight? So I could use eight fingers and take away six. And how many do I have standing? Or I could go six, seven, eight. How many do I have? Two. So eight take away two is six. All right, and again, they wanna know how many glasses. This is where it gets tricky. They wanna know how many glasses tipped over. So don't tell them six glasses tipped over because that's not the answer they're looking for. This is how many glasses were left standing. They wanna know how many glasses were tipped over. So that's why we circle the unknown, because the number that's missing is the number that they want. So don't let that trick you. Okay, erase your boards.
Okay, so again, we can use any of these strategies. You can use counters. You can draw pictures. I drew dots, right? That's drawing pictures. I could have used my number line. I could have counted on. Um, I think I did that in the first one or second one. Say the bigger number and then add the rest. Um, or say the number that's there and then add the rest. Uh, change to more diagram. That's what this is. I use change to more when you put a plus sign. Change to less. We use that when we did a minus sign. So today, I'm going to introduce parts to total diagram. So that's what this, or this is what that looks like. Parts, parts, total. So here's a number story for you. Teresa has three pencils in her backpack and six pencils in her desk. How many pencils does she have all together? Again, part, part, total. So we're going to put the first part here, the second part here, and the total is the answer. Okay, so here we go. Teresa has three pencils in her backpack. So we're going to put three here because that's part. And six pencils in her desk. That's the other part. How many pencils does she have all together? The word all together means you're adding. So we're going to add these two together to find the unknown. So three plus six is what? Here is using or here is counting on. If I say six and then I count three more, seven, eight, nine. So my unknown is nine. First part, second part, all together, the total. Okay. All right, let's try that again with another with a number, another um, number story. Um, let's see, what if we said Tom had four pieces of gum and Tim had three pieces of gum. It wants to know how many pieces of gum do they have together. So again, because it says all together, we're going to add. And now I have to do 4 plus 3 equals this is my unknown. So what can I do? I can say 4, 5, 6, 7. What's the total? 7. Great. Now let's take it a step further. Let's, let's make a number model or a number sentence. Or sometimes it's called equation. Let's take this and make a number model, number sentence equation. So I would do the same thing. Four plus three is equal to seven. Right? Perfect. So that's how you use the parts, parts, total diagram. So can, how can you practice this? If you have dominoes at home, do you know what dominoes are? Dominoes are like this. They have number dots on one side and dots on the other side. So you can use dominoes to do parts, parts, total. You put one part on one side, so this is six, so one, that's one of the parts. On the other side, you have the other part, and six plus one, here's your unknown, six plus one is seven. You got it. Here, let's try this one. Let's try this one right here. Here's your domino. Put the first part here. So that would be one. Put the second part here. You got it. And then what are these? Oh, we're adding. What are these two numbers? What do they equal? One, two, three. You got it. Nice job. So this is your unknown. Try this one. What's your first part? Yep. What's your second part? You got it. You're adding them together. How many all together? One. Awesome. So that's pretty simple. Again, you could use the change to more diagram. Now you've got another diagram, the parts, parts, total. All right. So in your workbooks, you have page 18. And this is working with parts, parts, total. 
There it is. Read each number story, fill in the diagram, and solve. So you have to use this chart. When it tells you to fill in the diagram and solve, it wants you to use what it has here for you. So I'll read you the, the question. You fill this in. You have to put the answer here. Then you have to do a number model. Okay, so it's right here. Write a number model. Show your thinking. All right, so I'll read this one. You'll have to pause the video because I'm going to go ahead and read this one. And then you're going to do, I think we have to do page 19. Yep, page 19 as well. So 18 and 19 is your work today. Here we go. Loop read five books in September. That's your first part. She read four books in October. That's your second part. How many books did Luke read in all? That's your total. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video so you can finish that. I'm going to read number two. Emma has four red balloons. That's one part. She also has some blue balloons. Uh-oh, it doesn't tell us that number. That's our unknown. We're going to circle the second part. Emma has 10 balloons total. How many balloons are blue? This one's going to trick you. Remember, they're asking for that missing number. You're going to push that, put that missing number here. Don't forget to write your number model. Okay, pause it if you need to. I'm going to move on to page 19. I have two tulips and three roses. How many flowers do I have in all? So it wants you to write the answer and then use these numbers to make a number model. Find the total. Remember, total and sum are the same. It means it wants you to find what it equals. This plus this equals what? Put the number right there. Sadie invites five boys to her party. She invites five girls to her party. How many children does Sadie invite in all? So you're just going to use this number model that they made for you. You're just going to answer it. And look, they labeled it for you so you know what you're counting. Circle the winning card and tap it. Is it 10 or 11? Circle the card that would win. Okay, my friends, post 18 and 19 to uh, Seesaw. I'm going to add parts, parts total to our chart. So let me do that real quick while you're still here. Parts, part, I should say, part, total. Right, that is our that is another strategy we can use.